Well, you guys, got another video here for you on go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. So if you've upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and you're not liking it and you want to roll back, you can, but there is a time limit on that. Also, you may be having issues with Windows 11 and you're not quite ready to do a full uh, upgrade and stay with it and you want to roll back to Windows 10, you can as well. So let's take a look here. Go to Settings. Inside here, you're going to see under System, there is an area called Recovery. You can get to this under Windows Update as well. You should see Go Back here. And this Go Back is to go back to Windows 10. If this is grayed out, it means that you've gone past the 10-day deadline to roll back your system, which Microsoft puts in place. You can extend that to 60 days. I'll show you a bit about that in a second. But it's important to know that you only have 10 days to roll back, which isn't a long time. So in the search box, type PowerShell, and we're going to open up PowerShell, and I'll show you exactly how to tell how many days yours is set to. So inside your PowerShell window, if you type this command in, what this command does is tells you how many uh, days you have left for the uninstall of that operating system and rolling back. You can see I've got this set to 60. 10 days to go back by default is the number that you're going to have here. Now, what that rollback feature does is it uses a folder inside your C root directory, which is your windows.old folder here. Now, you can even rename this to dot back to stop Windows deleting it, because after 10 days, it's going to uh, remove that windows.old folder. And uh, that is your, where all your Windows files are. So if you want to extend it, I'll show you how. Now, I showed you this yesterday, but I wanted to add it in this video. You can see this command has give us a value of whatever we want to put in here. So by default, it's 10. So if I did 10 here, it would take it back from 60 days to 10 days. Let me just show you. So there you can see now we're uninstall Windows at 10 days. So that's what it will do. So now I can change this feature back to a number that I want, say 60. And that would then give me an extension to 60 days maximum to roll back the PC. Of course, you can rename the dot windows to old folder, and this will then obviously extend that further. I'll make another video showing you about that because that's quite important as well. So going back into here, you can also get to the recovery section in Windows Update, Advanced Options. Inside here, you will see a area called Recovery. Click on this, and it's exactly the same as the one in System. So let's go back and roll this system back now so you can see basically the process in rolling back your system if you want to and you've got time to roll back. So it's going to say why are you going back and you do need to give them an answer to why you're going back. You can't skip this area. So you can say for another reason and then not tell them and then just basically go next. So check for updates before you roll back, maybe check for updates. So if you want to do that, you can click on check for updates. It will then take you back to the Windows update and try to check for updates to see whether this rectifies the problems that you're having. If it doesn't and you want to go ahead and roll back, you would have to go back into the recovery section and then continue on with the recovery process of rolling back your system. So let's go back to the recovery area. I've already done this, but I'll do it again just to show you. So now I need to skip the updates because that didn't work. And we can now go to no thanks. So it's now saying what you need to know. So basically, you can see here after going back, you have to reinstall some applications and programs. You'll also lose any changes made to settings. And also, are your files backed up? You need to make sure you back up your data. Even though it doesn't delete your data, it's always best to make backups of your personal data before rolling back the system because things can go wrong. Don't get locked out. If you use a password to sign in your previous build, which was Windows 10, if it's different from Windows 11, you will need to make sure you know what that password is. Once you're ready, click go back to an earlier build and this will start to roll back your build from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, the reason why it's important to back up your data is because this has failed for me in the past and there's no way of knowing whether it's going to be successful or whether it's going to fail halfway through. Now, if this does, then you've now been locked out of your computer. You'll have no operating system to boot to, and you're going to basically lose all your data if you don't know how to get it back. So that's why it's very important that you make backups of all your data before you do any sort of rollback 
uh, process because these things can go wrong and Microsoft will not be held responsible uh, for the loss of your data. They've given you plenty of warnings, so always back up your data and don't leave it to chance. So once this is done, I'll speed this process up. You can see the rollback process is now complete. It's now booting into Windows 10, and you should see something like this, which will be your Windows 10 operating system, the way you left it when you basically went forward to Windows 11. Now I get asked a few questions, so I'm gonna quickly answer those before I wrap this video up, and that is, should I upgrade to Windows 11 right now and use the Insider program? If you are a tester and you've got a spare PC, or you've got a virtual machine that you can use or something like that, and you wanna play around with it, by all means do so. If it is your main PC, I would not advise you upgrading to Windows 11 right now because we are in the dev build, which means it's not even the beta build yet, which means there's gonna be quite a few bugs. So what happens after 10 days when the time runs out? Can I still go back to Windows 10? That's another question I see. Yes, you can. You can still go back, but you would need to do a fresh install of Windows 10. You'd need to create a bootable media using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool of Windows 10 and reinstall it, and you will have an activated version of Windows 10 on your computer. It's a free upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. You won't need to buy a license key for Windows uh, 11 if you've got an activated version of Windows 10. It's a free upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. Anyway, that's about it for this one. I'm going to wrap this one up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.